What if phobias are made from how you died in a past life, if this would be true? How did you die? Sucked into some kind of hydro system with turbine. Like dams. Pitch black. Drowning. Chopping. Either someone vomited spiders on me or I vomited spiders. Killed by spiders during a speech. Killed by the darkness. I died of death. Apparently a snake was involved on the day I went to school without my pants. By being eaten by a duck. Death by any and all social interaction, I guess? An aquatic animal came through the drains. And bit me while I was pooping? Edit. Some of these replies are the stuff of nightmares. Social phobia so. I guess I was lynched or something? Man. I've thought of this before. My second biggest fear is dying in a plane crash and my first biggest fear is surviving a plane crash in the open ocean just floating on top of a piece of rubble on top of thousands of feet of water. Public toilets. I really, really, don't want to know the details. Being out on open ocean with no land in sight. By falling down the stairs. I am so afraid of stairs for no reason and am often trapped at the top of them in my dreams because I'm too afraid to climb down. Drowning. I already had the feeling I died like that before. I remember feeling that in my bath when I was six. Weird. Because I have autism, I had a lot of really bad irrational fears as a kid. All of which are gone, I'm 21 now. Which either means one of three things. 1. In a past life, I heard a loud vacuum cleaner. Got a heart attack and died. 2. In a past life, I saw an exit sign. Got a heart attack and died. 3. In a past life, I heard the THX logo on full blast. Got a heart attack and died. And sort of makes sense because I was born in the late 90s. Drowning in milk. Falling from a high place. Fucking overripe bananas. How does one die from commitment? It was a rainy Tuesday afternoon. The concrete was wet with a mixture of water and blood. As my body lay cold and rigid in an alleyway. I couldn't move. At least. Not anymore. My eyes stare ever upwards. Watching the rain fall from the light gray clouds above. A droplet falls into my eye. And leaks out the corner. Running down my face and onto the cracked concrete below. I was alone. Completely. Utterly alone. Lying there for days. I hadn't seen a single soul come by. But I feared what had found me in the meantime. I could feel every single little movement. Every single little wretched thing. Both outside and inside. The wiggling of the maggots in my stomach. The countless flies and spiders that made my body their home. I could feel every single leg move on every single inch of my body. Hyper aware of their existence on my person. Death is a curse. For sure. But. If I am ever reborn. I swear that I shall never let another insect near me ever again. Even if I were to burn in hell or rot in a shallow grave. As long as I never encounter these demons spawn again. People. Just people. I have generalized anxiety disorder and OCD so I guess I have been killed in every way humanly possible. Killed by an elevator snapping inside of a plane lol. My biggest fear is mice. So I'm guessing the black death is what got me. Bees. Murdered in a dark alley by someone I thought I could trust. Killed by spiders, flies, and various insects while falling off a cliff. Right after giving a speech in the dark. About being insignificant. Bees. Wasps. Bumblebee etc. Fuck I don't want to know how I died. Lethal injection. Fuck needles. Killed by puppets. Or at least was beaten to death by someone with puppets on their hands. Or perhaps I was strangled with marionette string. Point is. I don't like puppets. I was an astronaut then I think. Killed by tornado spiders while being forever single. Maybe shot? Or eaten by worms and spiders? I think I might have trypophobia. Don't search it. It's disgusting. And maybe arachnophobia. When I died, there was no afterlife, no reincarnation, no nothing. I was confused as hell when I was reborn with this fear. You know those weird bumpy ceilings? I was afraid of them as a kid. I thought I'd float up like a balloon and be popped on them. I wonder what in the hell could have happened to lead up to that situation. Thunderstorms. Big thunderstorms. Freaking terrifying. Died in a surgery. Alone was sent to Australia as a prisoner and was told eaten alive by redback spiders and every other weird spider that they have. 
died in the ocean while giving a speech to the other riders upside down with a small dog as my coaster buddy in a roller coaster while holding a mirror. Seems about right. Someone stabbing my inner elbows. Eels. Dunno what exactly they did. But they did something. Maybe drowned in a lake and get eaten by fish alive. I'm so scared of fish. Even just the small ones that you find in a glass bowl. I have a phobia of exhaust fans. The kinds in bathrooms. I will go into a full-blown panic attack. Despite having a decent hold on my anxiety and years of therapy. I'm not afraid of something coming through the vent. Or someone watching. It's the hole in the roof. The hollow space. The fan itself. The grate of the cover. And the fucking sound. The sound alone is enough to set me off. Bonus points if I can feel the pressure change. I can cope with regular vents. In public bathrooms. For example. And holes in roofs. Though they used to be equal to fans. I can cope with pipes and ceiling fans. Bedrooms. ECT. And generators and speakers. It's those damn bathroom fans that will have me rocking and crying on the floor. Exposure works to an extent. The house I'm living in has a fan above the toilet. With a single switch system. It took me two weeks to be able to use said toilet with the door closed. And now I'm fine. But I cannot look up at it. If it sounds different. If the pressure and sound change. I go into blind panic until I can talk myself down. Why? I have no idea. Killer clowns. I was killed by the werewolf in the thriller music video. Drowning while being attacked by wasps after falling from a great height from an airplane. Also, the airplane was filled with spiders. I had half a colonoscopy yesterday because I have a major phobia of medical procedures so I freaked out big time halfway through. So I guess in my past life I died from traumatic butt stuff. It's amusing to me. The way people try and combine all their phobias into one singular death event. I'm afraid of living a meaningless life. So my guess is that at some point. I died in poverty. I'm afraid of spiders. So maybe I was bitten by one. I'm terrified of taking medicine. Maybe I was poisoned. I'm terrified of drowning. And I've never successfully been able to learn how to swim. So that one seems self-explanatory. To be honest I don't even enjoy being in the water that much. Being near it is fine I suppose. But if someone pushed me into water over my head. I would absolutely drown. This could also have to do with the fact that I've almost drowned due to negligence and abuse twice though. Blamange. I fell off of something. I died in a loud underwater machine. Specific. But I'm terrified of machines in water. Specifically hearing them underwater. Even listening to the jacuzzi jets gets me. Guess I fell into a hydroelectric dam or something. Death by death. I was doxxed. Harassed and permanently associated with a crime I never committed. To death? Ducks following me? Ducks are weird. They always spy on me. Edit. Was attacked by a duck when I was 6 years old. A gecko fell on me and I died from fear-induced heart failure. A slug must have somehow pushed me off a cliff. Llamas? Maybe I was stabbed 37 times in the chest. Making a speech held near the edge of a cliff where I was attacked by a spider and fell off the cliff. Damn. I died by spiders eating my brain in the dark. 10. Oh, oh, oh feet in the air. Getting poked in the eye with an umbrella. Being on a sinking boat. Must have died by falling in the ocean while being devoured by spiders. I died in ocean while bugs eat me. Died in a narrow place. Killed by. Holes? Lots of spider deaths here. Somehow. Some way. Killed by moths. Monkeys. I died by monkeys. Just typing this is wigging me out. Killed by a frog while thinking I could get high from licking him. My family found my secret stash of girl clothes. Kidnapped and had something I-J-L-N-J-E-C-T-E-D into me. Plane crash. A trash panda must have buried me alive. Little asshole. I choked to death while talking to a girl. I got eaten by a bear while drowning. I was eaten by a squid while drowning. Shit I think I was a pirate. Killed by someone sneaking up on me while using a hairdryer. I have a fear of driving over a bridge with water underneath it and my car going off the bridge. So I may have died that way. I tragically died alone. Killed by my father. Ha. Huh. Automatonophobia. So a uh, killed by some sort of humanoid robot? 
butterflies? Seems reasonable. An army of expressionless, unfeeling, frilly porcelain dolls got me. I died being molested by a clown. Spiders. Blood loss via snake bite. I died alone, childless in a ditch and no one cared. I was sitting on top of the monkey bars and to get down I slipped between the bars. My head hit the bar, snapped back and instantly killed me. Yes I am scared of my neck snapping while slipping between the monkey bars. Probably fell into the Grand Canyon. I couldn't move, and was drowned, so go me I guess. I was alone in the dark, and just as a monster was about to grab me, a giant wave swallowed me and a couple of sharks ate me just as I was about to drown. Shot while people were cheering on in Dealey Plaza, Texas. What does that mean? I was eaten by a fucking puma. Fell off a damn mountain. Assassinated in my sleep. Former me must have really annoyed someone. I was killed falling off a roller coaster while doing a speech. Sacrifice to Baphomet.